it would be a ridiculous amount of just skeletons and artifacts and things that we would find when in fact it's actually really rare that we find these things so there's kind of like the two things i've heard people say is how can we cor- how can that also be true i don't have an answer for that because i do go ahead we have to consider population differences between now and then we don't know how populated the earth was we don't know if it was populated by eight billion people it's easy to find skeletons oh with large populations we don't know so let's say you start with adam and eve if you were to go from adam and eve to eight billion the current number, you would need 6,000 years. Someone did this math. It actually lines up. We'll talk more about that later. So in 6,000 years, you can get to 8 billion. And that's inclu- that's including accounting for a flood and the Black Plague and other things. So if it, let's just say in 6,000 years, you can get to 8 billion. In 400,000 years, you, you should be in like quintillions. So even if you started with just two. That's assuming so. that they procreate at the rate that we do. Oh, okay, so you're saying like, what if they didn't... What if they didn't desire procreation like we do? Or yeah. if they were unable to? Or able to, didn't yeah. desire it, didn't see the need to, whatever it is. We don't know their that procreation rate. We yeah. also don't know what they did with their bodies. No, they, that's a good point. They could have had a way of destroying bodies <clears throat> instead of preserving skeletons. You talk about their ritual yeah. bearing, but we don't know what that involved. Right. There's a lot we don't know. Yeah. And so to say, well, there's no evidence. Well, I mean, there's, not, there's no skeletons. Well, that's a small piece of how we know something exists.